So for me, competing in 2002 Pacific Alliance, I was a junior competitor, so it was one of my first competitions representing Australia um, on the world stage. So it really was a, a great experience for me and to gain the knowledge and skills of what it's like to be an international athlete representing your country. And then to go on and compete in 2004 um, at the Pacific Alliance was a, a building block for us. It was obviously the Olympic year and to be able to get out there and compete in a world-class competition against the powerhouses of gymnastics in the world such as America, Canada, uh, Japan, even Russia. So to be able to compete against them and see where we were at for the Olympic Games and what hard work we needed to do to be able to get to that, to that world stage. In 2004, I was a senior competitor and the competition was four or five months before the Olympic Games, so it was obviously a great preparation for us to see where we stood throughout the world competition. So in a team event, we finished behind the USA and above China and Canada. So for us to realise that's where we were at the world at that stage was a really great experience for us and we knew we still had a lot of hard work to do. So we went back home and, and worked even harder to, um, to lead up to the Olympic Games. My main advice would be to not to put too much pressure on themselves. If it is their first international competition representing Australia, it is just about gaining experience and getting out there and showing the world and the international judges what they can do. And also just learning off the senior gymnasts of even preparation competitions and, and how to prepare on the day. Um, is just something that they will be able to learn so much from the senior girls on the team. Tickets on sale now. So for Hisense Arena, go to www.ticketet.com.au and for the State Netball and Hockey Centre, go to ticketmaster.com.au.